คลิปค่ะคลิปค่ะ So this is my street, man. Say hello. Hey, it's Jensen. Hello, street car. All right, so I'm on my street right here, and Cambodia is notorious. Now, I'm sure this is this happens in a lot of other countries as well, not just Cambodia. But uh, they're having a wedding here, and they blocked the whole damn street. And at first, I'm not gonna lie, I was, I, you know, I, I, I was a little bit pissed off because they're fucking loud. And as you can see, they're blocking the whole goddamn street. But, but this morning, this morning. <laughs> but this morning, I uh, I actually came home from a client and they welcomed me and they they gave me all this food and goddamn man I mean they 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 insisted that I just eat 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 they kept refilling my bowl with this stuff called ball 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 is like a rice porridge soup and it was fucking good man it's fucking good and I was so goddamn full I was fucking limping out of there man but I digress I digress let me get to the point got an email today. From a guy named Henry Hartfield. Now I'm assuming this is a black guy. I'm assuming he's a black guy because he sent me an email, and all it said was something like, I, this, "This is not word for word." It says something like, "Your last video made me think that you hate all black males," something like that. And not black male as in I'm gonna I'm gonna tell on you, as in black men of African descent of sub-Saharan African descent. Now. I'm not gonna make a video trying to explain myself to make myself seem non-racist. I know I'm not racist. I don't give a fuck if you think I'm racist. So goodbye. Uh, I don't give a fuck if you guys think I'm racist or not. I truly don't care. So I'm not gonna make a video explaining myself. Oh, I'm not a racist, and here's why. Here's why. No, I don't care. I don't. I don't need to explain why. Why I'm not racist. If if you think I'm racist for making a video where I state facts, where I state real facts, so stay. Where I state facts and, uh, you know, I just share my, my own personal opinion from my personal experience. That I don't know what to fucking tell you, man. I don't know what the hell to tell you. Oh, let me get out of these people's way. Let me get out of these people's way. It's crowded as fuck out here. And then, uh, I got another email from one of my longtime viewers. Well, I don't know about long time, but viewer. Uh, goes by something like Verving or... I always forget their fucking name. And this whole time, I thought I thought that, she, that that she was a man. I don't know why I thought that. My apologies, Verving. My apologies. Apparently, she's a uh, she's a beautiful Jamaican woman, as she puts it. She said she's a beautiful Jamaican woman. <laughs> um, now, if you're a beautiful Jamaican woman, I expect a picture in my inbox. I expect a picture in my inbox, nude. Nude sucks by. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Uh, I, I expect a nude picture in my inbox by midnight your time or a nice picture of you smiling at the camera Or a nice picture of you smiling up to you up to you <laughs> um, But let me get back to the the first thing where this guy Henry said that I'm a racist because or, or like, like I hate all black men that that I have a hatred towards black men um, so he was talking about my last video where I was talking about racism in the states and how there's a lot of black white tension and how Usually when people get shot by the police and it could be black white brown polka dot purple fucking glitter colored I don't give a fuck dude rainbow colored Nine times. I mean, I, I I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that if that if you get shot by the fucking police You were most likely doing something wrong most likely I would. I'm, I'm not saying always, because because I'm sure that there's been. I, I got a fucking death grip on this thing, dude. In fact, in fact, I'm gonna get on the other side of the road. I'll walk over here. I still get. I know that pro, pro, it's probably not gonna get stolen. Now, see, if there were more black men around here, it would definitely be stolen, because black men all they're all thieves, right? Um, <laughs> so fucking stupid. I can't, I can't believe you sent me that dumbass email, man. So. So let me tell you why you're fucking stupid and why you're fucking wrong. Um, and again, like I'm not, I'm not gonna go out of my way to, to seem unracist. I, I don't give a fuck if you think I'm racist, but 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 I have but I have to say something. I have to say something about this because it's really fucking stupid. I made a video where I was talking about police and you know the Trayvon Martin uh, shooting, which happened several years ago back in the states, where he was this young black kid who was shot by a white Hispanic. You know, he was as brown as this fucking tree here, but yet he's white because he has a white last name and he's, his father's of German descent. Go fuck yourself. But yet he's a white Hispanic, okay? The only reason they say white 
Hispanic. What? Not, not, not a Latino, not a Hispanic guy, not just a regular fucking run-of-the-mill Mexican guy or fucking El Salvadorian or whatever. They had to throw white in there. Why? To create tension. To distract us from what, from what, from, from what is really going on. People were enthralled by the George Zimmerman, Trayvon Martin case. What about Michael Brown, the boy in Ferguson who got shot by a cop? Okay, Black Lives Matter. Well, the Black Lives Matter, then why do so many black people fucking kill each other every single day, huh? Oh, I'm racist now, right? Oh, shit. For speaking the truth, 94% of the black murders in the states are at the hands of other black people, but yet, but yet I'm the racist, right? Oh, Black Lives Matter, right? Oh, even though they kill each other on a regular basis every single day. It's just the facts, man. It's unfortunate. It's messed it up, Susie. It's unfortunate. Um, mm -hmm. That's right, I'm popular here, guys. It's unfortunate, man, but uh, that's just the fucking reality of it, dude. Um, you know, Michael Brown, the, boy, the black kid who got shot, was attacking a police officer and just got done robbing a fucking store. Like I said, I mean, he got shot, he was up to no good. It's, it's a, um, like, I'm sorry it's for, you know, for his family and everything, but dude, he, he fucking attacking a police officer, man. I'd have shot him, fuck him. Trayvon Martin, granted, George Zimmerman should have never got out of his car. He shouldn't have gotten out of his car, but Trayvon Martin shouldn't have punched him in the face and gotten on top of him and, and beat him up. That's why he got fucking shot. Now, that wouldn't have happened to me. Number one, I wouldn't give two shits I wouldn't give two shits about some kid walking around at night with a hood on. I wouldn't give two fucks. I don't care if he's black or what. Secondly, you're not just going to walk up on me and punch me in the face and drop me. Sorry, man. You're just not. Now, now if he'd have sucker punched me from behind, maybe. But I don't I don't carry a gun anymore. Like, back in the States, I used, to, I used to carry guns all the time, man. When I lived in black neighborhoods especially. Because I hate all black men, right? I just want to shoot them all, right? No, I used to carry a gun because other guys carry guns. And what's the best way to protect yourself from somebody with a gun? A gun. <laughs> Pretty simple, man. So, Henry, my message to you, dude, is, look, man, you can think what you want. If you think I'm racist, man, motherfucking goddamn it. Asians are the worst fucking driver. Now, now, that's something I stand behind. Asians are fucking terrible at driving. They're just inconsiderate as fuck, man. I digress. If, if you really think that I hate black men because I make a video speaking the truth, stating facts based on real evidence i don't know what to fucking tell you man turn the fucking channel unsubscribe dude fuck you secondly yeah i cuss in front of the kids in fact most of the time when i when i come down here they they call me choi mai which means motherfucker fuck you motherfucker that's pretty much what it means and they they say that to me so fuck these little boys fuck these little kids hey okay <laughs> Boy, walk right in front of me, man. <laughs> See what I'm saying, man? The Cambodian people are nice and they're friendly, but they are oblivious to others. The boy looked right at me. He looked directly at me. I walked right into him. I walked right into him. I digress. I digress. Yeah, so I'm walking, and I got... I actually want to respond to uh, another email just real fast. Let me, let me check my time. Hold up. I'm like at eight and a half, so I'm about to wrap it up. It's the length of my cock. Um, kidding, kidding. It's, it's, it's not eight and a half. It's eight, it's eight and a quarter. It's, it's eight, it's eight and a quarter. So I'm close. But, uh, yeah, this lady, Verving, Jamaican lady, who I said needs to send me a nude picture by midnight. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Throw me a bone. Come on. Throw me a bone. Come on. Anyway, so she had asked me, like, if I was with my ex-fiance, who, who was black? Who was a black woman? if like how would i react if she was shot unjustly by the police well that's kind of a dumb question now isn't it whether it was justified or unjustified i'd be fucking upset my fucking the, the fucking love of my life just got shot right in front of me whether she did something or not you know second i mean that like what a like like what it's stupid like couple stupid fucking emails man now, i'm not saying verving verving i'm not saying that you're stupid as a person but the email was kind of dumb the email was kind of dumb because Typically, when people get shot by the cops, it's because they pro it's because they did something wrong. They did something to get they did something worth getting shot over, whether you're white or black. Now, now I want to say, I could be wrong, but I want to say that the majority of people in the states killed by police are probably white people. 
I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking that you should definitely look that up right now. You can open up a new tab. Oh, look it up right now and check it out, okay? So if my ex-fiance, who was black, was shot by the police, whether she deserved it or not, of course I'd be upset. You know, I mean, what the fuck, man, of course. If, if, if my mother was shot unjustly by the police, who was white, I'd be upset. If anybody I know was shot unjustly or justly, meaning they deserved it, or they, they kind of they kinda warranted getting shot, I'd be upset regardless. So I don't really get your point. And Henry Hartfield, Hatfield, whatever the fuck your name is, turn, turn the fucking channel, unsubscribe, watch another motherfucker who, who says shit you want to hear instead of the fucking facts. Lastly, I want to give a shout out to Brother Swan, TJ Swan. I don't always email him back. You know why? Because he sends me long fucking emails, man. But TJ Swan sent me a nice email, and he said it looks like my days of a bona fide thumper are gone now. And what that means is that I'm pretty good at knocking people out. I've, I've got a knack for throwing pretty hard punches and knocking dudes the fuck out, and I've done it many times inside the ring and outside the ring. Um, you know, but I broke my hand, as you can see, and my days as a thumper are over. A one-shot knockout punch is over. So, that's, a, that's an opportunity for me to develop other skills. I know how to kick an elbow and, uh, you know, and knee and all that, and I have a basic understanding of how to wrestle and grapple, but I definitely like to throw big punches. That's just my style. Um, I like to fight aggressively, and I like to put you to sleep. So TJ, TJ said that, uh, and TJ is actually a black guy. So shout out to TJ because I hate all black men, right? I hate, I hate all black men. No, I hate stupid people. I hate stupid people. That's what I fucking hate. And they come in all colors, unfortunately. It would be nice if all, if all black people were stupid because then I would know just by looking at them. Just by looking, I'd be like, oh, well, they're, well, they're dark, so they're stupid. Well, it's not that easy, guys. There's plenty of white people who are as dumb as a fucking rock, man. Jesus Christ, there's some dumbass white people out there, man. Men, women, I don't give a fuck, man. So shout out to TJ. Hopefully my hopefully my injuries don't uh, don't keep me awake when I'm 50 years old. They may or may not, man. So shout out to you, Brother Swan. He always calls me Brother Joke, so I'm gonna call him Brother Swan, man. TJ, take it easy, buddy. Uh, next time you send me an email, man, you know maybe maybe not a novel this time. Maybe maybe like a paragraph, as I've said a thousand fucking times. Anyways, man, I'm just I'm just teasing you, man. Take care of yourself. I, I appreciate the email. Shout out to all my fans, my white fans, my black fans, my brown fans, my Asian fans, whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. Peace.